So in this example, we are given a statement, not a picture. We are told that triangle JOE is congruent to triangle BAC. So you can always draw a picture if you want to, or you can set up your six parts just by going the order that you're supposed to go in. So I'm gonna start with my corresponding congruent angles. And then next, we're going to look at our corresponding congruent sides. So you can also just use one letter to name your angle. And in that this situation, that's what I'm going to do. It really depends on the picture uh, that you have in order to know how to label your angles. So in this situation, angle J is congruent to angle B. They are corresponding, they match together. Angle O is congruent to angle A. And then last, angle E is congruent to angle C. And that is gonna be the only way you can really write this and lay it out. So now let's talk about our corresponding sides. So for sides, you need two letters. So side J-O maps and is congruent to side B-A. Side O-E maps and is congruent to side A-C. And then last, side J-E maps and is congruent to side B, C. So I was able to name these six corresponding parts using C, P, C, T, C. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent.